What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Azakar, bringing you flame. You already know, man. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell, homie. You be left in that loop. You be left in the loop. You know what the business is, man. Make shout out to the black YouTube out there. Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, the League Attorney, J.R. Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, Two Raw for Sports, Two Raw for TV. Kicking it with Mr. Miles. LC Predator Catcher. I mean, these brothers be bringing that flame, man. Be bringing that flame on YouTube. And I just want to be one of them that's a flamethrower, too. But like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, people. Mr. Kaczynski. Oh, man. Y'all heard of the Unabomber, right? I'm just not hearing about it. So I have, you know, I'm, I'm ignorant to this, so... Mm. Well, Theodore Ted uh, Kaczynski, the Harvard-trained math professor who unleashed a deadly bombing campaign from a shack in rural Montana and became known as the Unabomber, has died, according to the Federal Bureau of Prisoners. He was 81 years old. He was found unresponsive in his cell at the Federal Medical Center in, in Butner, North Carolina, around 12.25 a.m. Saturday morning. The Bureau said in a statement. Mm. Responding to staff immediately initiated life-saving measures, the brief you said. Uh, staff requested emergency medical services and life-saving efforts continued. Mr. Uh, Kaczynski was transported to EMS to a local hospital and subsequently pronounced uh, deceased by the hospital personnel. Yeah, man, when man succumbed to his pain, boy, he he just want to get up out of here. I ain't going to lie to you. That pain to have you not want to live. Yeah, have you not want to live. And just imagine how much pain he caused. But he has been serving eight life sentences. And after he pleaded guilty in 1998 for sending mail bombs that killed three people and wounded 23 others from 1978 to 1995. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah, what it is on that. Yeah, what it is on that. Well, let's go ahead and play some of this. One of those cases that will go down in the history of the FBI is one of the most challenging and arduous investigations uh, we mounted, but ultimately successful in 1995. Um, you know. We learned, of course, once we located uh, Mr. Kaczynski and taken him into custody and saw the primitive conditions uh, under which he was living, um, that's what made it so hard uh, to really develop any effective lead leads for all those years. You know, he was so completely off the grid, really leaving no trace of himself in any of the traditional ways um, that people do. But uh, fortunately, with the publication of his manifesto, we were able to develop the sort of of uh, uh, information from the public and specifically from family members that helped us crack the case. And, and let's try to unravel some of that because he was living in a cabin. I mean, it was, um, I mean, he wanted to be off the grid. That was his ambition. Uh, but what, at least one of the bombings took place as early as in the 70s at a uh, Chicago university. And then you also, and it was a great mystery who was responsible for all of this. He was off the grid in a cabin, but... Perhaps his uh, abduction, um, you know, his arrest came, it was self-inflicted. I mean, he authored this manifesto. He sent it right to the FBI. Perhaps he thought he would continue to be uh, mysterious, but then they were able to piece together um, any relations and use this as evidence, publish it. And it was his brother who ultimately would help turn him in, right? 
That's absolutely right. So mm. uh, Kaczynski started in uh, the late 1970s with what began as a primitive, um, uh, low-tech uh, mail bombing campaign directed predominantly at universities and airline industry representatives and, and uh, different airline-related targets. Of course, in 79, was able to get a, uh, a bomb on a, an American Airlines flight that fortunately did not detonate, but it let off a, a, a great degree of smoke, which uh, alerted the pilots and were able to effect an emergency landing. There's no doubt that had that bomb gone off, it would have taken the plane down and uh, taken all those lives with it. Um, so an incredibly focused, determined, uh, resilient adversary, right? And somebody who was motivated primarily by his extremist positions with respect to the environment. You know, people today, we think about domestic terrorism, we typically think about it in very different contexts. In the uh, 80s and 1990s, um, environmental terrorism was a major program that was being worked by the FBI because we had uh, extremist activity around uh, people who objected to environmental development. And Kaczynski was really kind of uh, at the forefront of those of those thoughts, not that he was a member of a group, but uh, at the forefront of that ideology, and he pursued this bombing campaign as a way of striking back against technological advancement, uh, which he believed was uh, damaging the environment uh, in ways that needed to be stopped. He's no longer here. He took out so many people, man. That's whew, a monster, man. What make a man want to be like that, man? Hmm? Wow, I was watching a crime video, man. This dude was getting off on keying people's cars. Just going back and forth, keying them, then going right past them again and feeling them to make sure he did a good job and keying them. What type of sh is that, man? And Tesla been tearing their butts up recording that crap. And when they get caught, man, they just look so stupid. It's like they have a fetish on getting off on this stuff like that. Some sick stuff. People like to do wrong. Y'all just remember that, man. People love to do wrong. They love to do wrong, but they got an end date to them. You feel me? Like it, like everything else. It ain't going to last forever. It's your boy Moose. So do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.